One of the closest races for Congress is for the 41st District, which covers Palm Springs, Corona, and Lake Elsinore. A newcomer Democrat, Will Rollins, is trying to unseat one of the longest serving congressmen, Republican Ken Calvert. The race being closely watched by both parties as the outcome could determine who controls the House. Joining us now in studio is Will Rollins. Welcome, Will. Good to see you. Thank you guys for having me. And we extended the same offer to Ken Calvert, and we never heard back in terms of scheduling with him. We appreciate you coming in. Uh, let's start with this concept uh, that a lot of political experts have right now, that there may be a red wave coming. It looks like in some of the recent polling that there's momentum for Republicans nationwide. Do you see that? And if so, how do you handle that in the last few days of this? Well, we don't see that in our district. And I think the truth is that a lot of pollsters themselves will tell you that no one knows what's going to happen this cycle. Um, very difficult to predict the turnout models. What we have seen in my district is record turnout in the early voting. We've got a 10-point lead uh, over registered Republicans in my district. So things are looking really good in California 41. So you're banking on that as we head toward Tuesday. Yeah, and a bipartisan coalition, right? So I've been endorsed not just by Democratic leaders, but also the former elected Republican assembly leader in California, the former elected Republican sheriff in Riverside County, a bipartisan group of military and national security officials who endorsed me uh, this Tuesday. So I think in a purple district, people like to see support from both parties. It's rare, but it's uh, happening in California for well, let's talk about the differences between you and Congressman Calvert. We know that there are many, but what do you define as the biggest difference? The, the truth is I see a lot of it as economic. Um, I want to protect Social Security and Medicare. He wants to gut it. That's his plan to fix inflation. Um, I want to try and provide targeted tax cuts to working families in Riverside County, restore the state and local income tax deduction and the mortgage interest deduction that Ken Calvert reduced in 2017 when he voted for that tax bill. And it's a question of who's going to deliver for the average households in Riverside County where that income is around $70,000 per family. Well, let's make that point a little bit more clear uh, because this Trump tax cut, they ended up putting this thing to make it where you can't take away your state taxes. So that really hurts places, states with high taxes, mostly blue states like California, New York, other states like that. Right. And a lot of us are getting our property tax bills right now, or we're getting our state and local income tax bills right now. And the reason in California that you can deduct less of those is because of Ken Calvert. And so I think people want somebody who's going to stand up to their party, no matter which party it is, and say, the bill you're proposing is going to hurt my constituents and their wallets. You know, Republicans say that Democratic spending in the House is what contributed to inflation. Uh, Ken Calvert recently did an interview with our colleague Christina Gonzalez. Here's some of what he said. We've got to get a hold of this inflation, and that, that means get energy production back up, uh, bring the price of fuel down. We should be able to produce our own energy here in the United States. Do you disagree with that? Look, it sounds good intuitively. The issue is that the gas companies themselves are telling their shareholders on earnings calls that they have no plans to expand production. And that is because they are seeing record quarterly profit, quarter after quarter. And so I think as good as that sounds, it's not an intellectually honest solution because their profit margins are still at all time records, 20%. And what Congress really needs to be doing is standing up to companies that have monopoly power and make our markets competitive again so that we actually aren't just getting gouged at the pump again and again and again. So what does that mean? Does that mean more taxes for those companies? And, and what do you say to people that are concerned concerned that that's really going to just increase their prices even more. I think it really means enforcing the antitrust rules that we already have on the books, right? Because we've had the Sherman Act in place for over a century. And when you look at what happened in the early 20th century in the United States with monopolies and a handful of corporations that could dictate prices to consumers, the Justice Department and the antitrust division went in there and busted up those trusts. And think about Teddy Roosevelt, right? A Republican president who wanted the market to be competitive, who wanted our markets to be fair and free. And when you don't have somebody in office who's going to advocate for those policies in Congress, um, you're going to get price gouged. Who thought we'd get a Teddy Roosevelt register? <laughs> yeah. say, take a shot if you have that on your drinking game. All right. Okay. Go. So l let's wrap this up. And uh, one of the differences, of course, is uh, the conservative, of course, Ken Cal 
Albert, you, on the other hand, openly gay. Uh, what would that mean for the LGBTQ constituents? In District 41. Places like Palm Springs. Yeah, I mean, we need somebody who's going to step up and protect our community. I'm running against a guy who voted against the Matthew Shepard hate crimes bill in 2009. Somebody who voted against letting people like me serve in the U.S. military. And I always say to people, you should vote for whoever's going to have your back no matter what. But the truth is that America does better when we are all able to thrive and succeed based on merit. It's good for our economy. It's good for our national security. It lets us outcompete authoritarian regimes like China and Russia. Last word, 15 seconds or so, final pitch. Vote for me. Vote for me. <laughs> I need your help. And look, like, I think America needs a new generation of moderates. People want uh, leaders who are going to start working together instead of fighting for the sake of fighting. Because there are politicians who benefit from that kind of extremism. But I know that the country is craving a new generation of leaders who want to bring the country together again. Sounds like something your old boss, Arnold Schwarzenegger, would say. All right. Thank you so much. Will Rollins, appreciate you coming in. Thank you, Best guys. Best of luck out there me. on the campaign trail. Thank Thanks you. So much.